Hello, Collective. Welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are absolutely appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energy and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light. Okay, anything that enemy has stolen from you, tried to steal from you, is being returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies are dismantled, being dismantled as we speak. Okay, as I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. So we have the four of wands out here. You could be expecting to receive some type of good news partnering up with someone you may be getting married okay now we see you congratulate my legends congratulate your legends okay so there's possibly some type of union that's coming in really quickly really soon this is going to be a union that's fulfilling you could have people that are working together to bring some type of balance or healing in a situation you may be ending up ending up healing a relationship with someone that you know, uh, 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 from the past, someone from the past. There's a whole lot going on here. But from what I see as well, there could be someone walking away from a union, from a community. Someone wants to find fulfillment. So there could be some type of divorce going on as well. You never know with these uh, uh, readings. It, it, it'd, be, it'd be a whole lot going on, a whole lot going on, okay? So someone could be, so you collective, you could end up being getting met. Lord, have listened to the English. What in the world is going on here, Cynthia? Get yourself together, okay? Um, um, we are back. <laughs> okay, so while you are about to get married, collective, there is a relationship that is coming to an end, okay? There is some type of partnership that's coming to an end. Someone could be walking away from a community as well to find fulfillment, okay? Someone has been guided to find a higher meaning in life or something of that nature, okay? Someone may be bringing something to your attention. Dang, about a queen of pentacles in the reverse. Something this person did in the past. Collaborating with a group of people trying to block some type of forward movement, trying to steal or take something from someone else. Someone did not believe that you deserve what the most high has decided that you deserve. So if you were left in a will, there, there could possibly be a queen of pentacles in the reverse that had that will edited, which is illegal, okay? So someone may end up facing some type of criminal charges. Someone could be excommunicated from a community as communicato, as John Wick, the John Wick characters say, okay? Someone could be excommunicated is that you have to leave and you can never return. And this institution or community that she did this in is pretty influ influential. So this is kind of going to bind her or him, whoever this is, once this event takes place. But someone is being exposed terribly, okay? She may not be happy about what was going on, but this was inevitable. It was always going to happen this way. You know, sometimes when people are so greedy and so hanged over on tearing someone else down, uh, of blocking someone else, destroying someone else's life, all because of greed and jealousy, they get blinded. You know, they think they have everything under control, but they don't realize every step that they are taking it's just gearing them to their own ending and failures. And God forbid they bring other people, people on the destructive stream, they've destroyed many lives. So this Queen of Pentacles will be going through some type of ending, whereas you are coming into some type of new beginning, some type of growth acceleration. You may be receiving some type of information she has been blocking or having people block or interfere with. There's been something coming up repeatedly in my messages about a message being blocked or interfered with, people logging into accounts illegally and blocking text messages 
phone calls, emails, or just deleting those messages altogether. People stalking people all over the cities, the places, and things like that. It's just a lot of ridiculousness going on as always but balance is being brought into this situation someone has been causing a whole lot of hocus pocus for no reason a whole lot of illusions because they don't want you having this brand new passionate beginning but you are destined to have this brand new passionate beginning because the most high says so you've done the healing work um, you've got it in alignment and in touch with your higher self you have that direct connection to source I'm telling you you the absolute truth you've done the work this person having some someone could have been trying to kind of replace you in a scenario they say if i just learn how to be her if i can be even like 50 percent her 20 percent her 30 percent her i can have what's hers and the most high is like no you can't have what's that person that's a one of a kind being right there because this is someone that is absolutely 110,000% committed to being who they are and fulfilling their purpose, healing people, being healed, and things like that. You're not. The Queen of Pentacles in the reverse is someone that is alarming. This person has been excommunicated from this group. Yeah. Someone is being removed from a group, kept out of something because she's been causing a lot of drama, a lot of chaos. So she's not being informed anymore. There's some type of email, group text, group messages going on that she's not a part of. She won't be a part of it. People are not going to be telling her what's going on in that group because this is someone unstable. This is someone greedy. Whereas, let's say you have the Queen of Pentacles in the upright versus this person. You're, you know, focused on your pentacles. You're very disciplined, controlled. You're down to earth. It's easy to talk to you. You bring like happiness and joy into the lives of the people that are around you this woman is very selfish very greed greedy financially motivated very shallow not the best mother this is one of those overpowering parents right she has her hand in every aspect of her child's or children's lives no matter how old they are she thinks she should still be able to tell them what to do who they can be with who they can talk to, where they can go, what they can put on, all kinds of stuff. It's kind of just ridiculous, disgusting, and eerie as heck. If this person has like a son, she's very, very controlling, and he is possibly overwhelmed with her. Like he's very tired of his mother because she just does too much. The reason this woman is like this is because she believes this is the only way to to maintain power. But when you're in that energy, you don't really have power. You're just kind of showing that you are insecure and you need a lot of healing and discipline within yourself. Because if you are someone that is authoritative naturally in the right way of assertive, you don't have to do all of these hokey pokey activities to get people to do what you want or to get people to work with you, collaborate with you and things like that. You're naturally a leader. You will notice the difference be between people that are natural leaders and people that have to make things go their way. Force things, coerce things to go their way. Natural leaders don't have to tell you, hey, if you don't do that, you can't come to work tomorrow or you're going to lose this if you don't do what I'm telling you to do. They don't have to yell at you, raise your voice or anything. Like they'll just tell you something and you'll just know, yeah, I see why they're telling me to do that because they're very educated and intellectual with the way they carry themselves, how they talk to people, how they treat people because they understand teamwork what makes the dream work so i gotta work with my team make sure i'm looking out for my team members in a genuine way so that we can continue to flourish and thrive whereas this person she is afraid of losing something and this is because sometimes it has to do with how you went about receiving something right so maybe you say you have your you know, CEOs don't need like a license or certification to be a CEO. But let's say for a second you need a license to be a CEO. This person does not have that license. They've been probably pretending to have some type of license for decades and things like that, right? Uh, so because they have that huge secret to keep, mm -hmm, they have to, they, they believe they have to act in a certain way so people can believe that they do have this license or this certificate. Um, because they want to prove that they are powerful, they are a leader, they know what they're doing, where they may not even know what they're doing. 
For someone like me, I can look at you for like three seconds. I'm like, you don't know what you're doing, do you? But I'm not going to say it out loud. I may try to help you from behind the scenes so, you know, things can kind of go in your favor until you try to spite me. You know, you cut your nose up to spite your face by going up against me and I just leave you to hang out and dry. But someone like this is very alarming and eerie, okay? She knows that you are an empress. This is the reason. Someone is in the reverse. You are an empress in the upright. You're naturally abundant. You're naturally caring. You're, you, you nurture the environments that you are in so people thrive. People heal when you are around because you bring that better side of people out, right? So you two are complete opposites. Just complete opposites, okay? And someone is intimidated by that. They know you are someone of high moral character. You stand up for what's right. You stand up for yourself. Someone may be bothered by the fact, too, that you are someone that stands up for yourself. They may have been doing things behind the scenes to break you and things like that. And they expected you to just roll over like a, a scary little dog, a puppy. But you're not doing that. You're like, nah, no, 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 no. You barked up the wrong, the wrong tree. Okay, you barked up the wrong tree. We're going to settle this. And someone does not have the necessary tools to settle things like it's supposed to. So they have a lot of problems coming in and going on. Someone is about to lose a lot of access. This is like being part of a whole empire or something. Being very influential, like having a very high position in this empire. And then all of a sudden, people are keeping you out of messages, not really respecting you anymore because you don't carry yourself with respect. You don't speak with respect, right? You don't have class about yourself. You're not diplomatic or anything like that. So people just don't take you serious anymore. They look at you like you're a joke or something. There's a situation like this that's going on, okay? And this person is going through this because of everything they did to someone else on Empress Energy. They tried to steal from someone. They tried to take what belonged to someone else and act like it never happened. That is cold. That is very cold. I told you, yeah, she's going through an ending. This woman is going through an ending. This is like a death that's like the worst kind of, one of the worst kinds of deaths. This is like being embarrassed. Someone may try to keep things on the hush. Is that please don't let anyone know. You know, just take this away quietly and I'll go away easily. She may try to negotiate with people like that. Yeah, just don't, please don't tell anyone. Like, just tell them, like, I have decided to retire after, you know, umpteenth years of serving the company. Like, she wants to go away quietly. This community may not want to. They may want want to send this person out with a bang. But we'll see how this progresses in this reading, okay? And this person is being exposed. They said, this is what you've been up to behind the scenes. You told us this person did something to you or they just didn't respond to a message. And it's like, no, this is, this is one of those people, they'll say, they'll tell someone else, hey, send this message to this person. They need to be aware of this. And then they will go behind the scenes and block that message from going through or delete that message so that the person that's supposed to receive it does not receive it. Even if she's not doing it, she has someone else working on her behalf. Like, hey. Yeah, he's about to send the message. Now you go in and delete it. Like, this is someone that has been like controlling people and they don't know like they are being controlled. They're being used as puppets. Like they, they all have their roles. They all have their roles to play in her little scenario that she has going on. And none of them know, but you're still getting justice, Sarcy. You're still getting justice. Whatever you was left for you, whatever was whatever belongs to you, you're still going to receive it, regardless of everything she's been doing. I'm telling you, your pathway is clear. You're supported. You're being reminded to keep your mind on positive thoughts, positive things. Yeah, positive thoughts. But someone is being exposed. This is one of those people when you work with them, they'll smile in your face. It's like, oh, that's my buddy. She's not. Nah, she's not your buddy. This is someone that will be dragging you to hell and tell you, hey, honey. We're going to the sunlight. We're going to go get some sunshine, get some tan and things like that. It's too dark over here, right? It's been dark. It's been uh, midnight for too long or something like that. We're just going to go to the light for a little bit and get a little bit of tan and heat, warm up a little. Only for this person to be dragging you to hell, okay? Or they'll, they'll have you get in a car with them and they tell you that you two are going on some type of girl's trip, guy's trip, only for them to go... Uh, 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 push you off a cliff 
and then come back and say, has anyone seen uh, Stephanie? I haven't seen Stephanie in a while. And people are looking at her like, uh, honey, you're the last person we saw Stephanie with. We should be asking you that. She said, no, 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 no. When Stephanie and I went on our trip, she decided to leave and go up for someone else. And they're looking at her like, um, what? Stephanie left in your car. How did Stephanie decide to go up for someone else? What transportation? Did they have transportation? Yeah, that's one of those people. Okay? That's one of those people. Be very mindful. Pray with caution with these kind of people. Again, today I'm having issues with this, with shuffling this deck. But you all are used to that. Those of you that come back here repeatedly, you're used to that. This is part of this channel's identity. Okay? So, what am I going on? Yeah, I'm telling you, this person is karmic as heck. This woman is karmic as heck. A lot of additions. A lot of toxic ways. Someone that probably sleeps around too. Maybe married, but sleeps around. Like someone is just, they're showing up in the Queen of Pentacles energy, possibly because they're a mother, maybe a wife, but they're in the reverse. So they're imbalanced. Imbalance, as I like to say. This woman is alarming. The people around her are probably tired of her. This is someone that's unbearable. Absolutely unbearable. But if you work under her, do you have a choice? Like if you, let's say you're working a job where you're paid very well, but you're working under this nightmare, do you really have a choice? Like you, you know that when you leave, you're not gonna have, you may not have an opportunity that's gonna pay as well. So what, you, what do you do? You kind of just shut up and put up with it. Not me. I'm not built like that. I'm not built like that. I have to feel fulfilled in what I'm doing to be able to stay. If I don't feel fulfilled, mm 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 mm. You're not about to be like uh, being rude, disrespectful, malice, and things like that towards me. And you think I'm just going to stay because the check is good? Uh -uh. Yeah, I'm telling you, this woman is being excommunicated from a community, a family. She's being let go. And I don't think she saw this coming. She didn't see this coming. This is that one of the situations where you think you're all in the clear, you've covered all your ends. You have everything figured out. No one knows what you did, only for you to find out everybody knows, everybody knows, everybody knows. Okay? Everybody knows. Yeah. I'm telling you, this woman is done. This institution is getting rid of her. They're letting her go, and she won't be able to return. She will not be able to return. Someone should have sought some type of... Like, someone should have taken the diplomatic route, but someone is a narcissist. She has a lot of ego and pride, and then she's greedy on top of that. So that's a combination for just disaster. Someone does not know how to humble themselves. They have a problem with being humble. They don't want people to think like, like they're a pushover. This could be like one of those petite people and they're just too much for themselves. Like they have a bigger personality than themselves because they want people to feel like they are important. But you don't have to act a certain way for people to believe that you're important. What does that say? Queens don't queens don't have to announce themselves. You know what you know what a queen is when you see her. This person has to prove their queenship. And she's losing a lot. She is losing a lot. Someone may be communicating with um with a community. Telling them the truth. Like, here, this is what this person has been doing behind the scenes. This is what this woman has been doing behind the scenes. Okay? Yeah. Just, just like I said, she's going through an ending. You have a new beginning coming in. She didn't want you receiving some type of opportunity, but you're going to receive it. You yourself may be going through an ending, but the ending is leading to a new beginning. 
and you you will be successful partnering up with new people, places, and things. You see how it went from the Ace of Wands to three of to the uh, uh, um, three of Wands, and it's just saying that you're going to have your new beginning at the right time in a matter of time. That you've been waiting for this new beginning for a while, and and it's here. It's coming. Okay. Mm-hmm. I said something about marriage, but that this also has to do with this institution making the right this making a decision to right some type of wrong. Like something has been drugged out for too long and now it's being balanced out. A decision has been made. It could be a leader that has chosen to do the right thing. They've chosen to do the right thing. They're making some type of decision. This is like a successful business leader that, that's the head of an organization, an uh, enterprise. I don't know what kind of business this is. It can be any kind of business. Okay. It could be any kind of business. This is someone that has been in this company for a long time, too. Yeah, I'm telling you, this person, they have a lot of secrets. This woman, a whole lot of secrets. Something is being hidden from her now. This institution is not telling her what's going on. They're not communicating with her like that anymore. Is that we don't F with you anymore because you're causing us too much problems. Too many problems, darling. You need to go figure yourself out. She's living in fear. She doesn't know what's going to happen. She's living in fear. Someone may have brought you some trouble, legal issues as well. It's not going to go in their favor, and they know that too. And she's living in fear. Someone is like someone knows something belongs to you. Let's say you're supposed to be someone of high honor, honor and privileged, and she doesn't want you to be in that energy. So she starts causing chaos in your life behind the scenes, and you're like, what the heck is going on with me? My life is just taking a 360 degree turn. You know, like I used to be abundant, naturally manifest things and things like that. And now like everything I touch is turning into ashes. What in the world is going on? The whole time you don't know there's a whole person behind the scenes blocking your forward movement, paying people to block you, making sure you don't come into the awareness of what belongs to you. This is what she's been doing, collaborating with other institutions and things like that. Let's say you go to move to a new house, a new apartment, she collaborates with them. Let's say you go to a new job, she collaborates with them. They, hey, I'll give you this amount. Make sure they don't know that, you know, they have this opportunity available to them, this position or whatever this is. Okay. But it's like everything this woman intended for you, if she intended for you to be homeless, She's about to go through that. She may be going through a divorce as well. She's caused a lot of con conflict within a family. And a, a family as far as like an institution, maybe even her family, she may be going through a separation or this is what's coming up for her. Like a sister is about to lose everything just like she intended for you. And again, this is the energy she projected out there. So it's being returned to her. I don't think she expected things to go this way. She thought she had it all figured out. That's one of those people. They think they have everything figured out. I have the power. I have the connection so I can do what I want. If someone is finding out that the universe does not give two Fs about power or connections, network, money. They don't care about none of that. They don't care about none of that. Someone is being humble and finding out the Far away that all of that is irrelevant in this situation, this mess that she has created for herself. There could be a masculine energy going through the same thing as well. They were possibly partners in crime, maybe even sleeping together. I hear someone saying, but she's so old. <laughs> Lord have mercy. So he may have been sleeping with this woman for the benefits. Like, like a friend with benefits thing. Lord have mercy. Mm. Source. <laughs> Did I really need to know that? <laughs> Ooh. There's 
some type of work affair that's going on. That's why these two are so closed. You know what happens? She works from behind the scenes. He carries out her plans. And he feels invincible because of who he's connected to in the company. Is this why you'll see some people in companies, they'll just do whatever they want? That's because they're banging the boss. They're bringing her back in at nighttime. And then you go to the boss complaining about the person that's doing her and nothing happens. And you're wondering, well, why is nothing happening? That's because you are complaining to her about her lover. She doesn't care one bit. And sometimes they're just waiting for you to figure it out. Like, you, I hope you figure out that I don't care about your complaint. I'm not going to be doing nothing to this person. And when trouble unfolds, chaos comes, she will distance herself from him. She'll like back off. When he tries to communicate with her, she'll, he'll, she'll act like she doesn't see the messages, may not answer his calls. There's no honor among thieves, I'm telling you. Uh, she'll, if she does pick up his communications, she'll uh, uh, mentor him on how to play his way out of it. Hey, this is what you do. Don't respond to that. Don't say anything. Keep quiet. It'll blow over. It's not going to blow over. Like, they are partners in crimes. I'm telling you. They are partners in crime. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you've manifested a new beginning. This woman was trying to keep secret, or maybe this uh, organization was trying to keep secret. No. Let me fix that. This woman was trying to keep her actions secret, everything she was doing. This organization is hiding what they're doing. They're trying to fix something, make something right. So they're not saying anything. They're, they're moving in silence. They're not saying anything to her. She doesn't know what's coming for her. She doesn't know what's coming for her. There could be someone upset behind the scenes saying, you're costing me money. This is possibly what they're going to tell her. You're costing me money. You cost me a lot of money. I'm sorry, but we're going to have to let you go. And they're not really sorry. They're not really sorry because someone like that, when they leave an institution, they take a whole lot of darkness with them. There's like lights, cameras, action. And the action is people being relieved being healed, being able to be themselves again. Say, oh, ooh, Chantel is no longer here. We don't have to worry about someone being abusive towards us. Take advantage of us. Boss us around being disrespectful and things like that. We can be us again. Oh my gosh, thank you. Someone, when you leave, people are going to be happy. They are going to be happy. This is one of these people they get hired at a company. Let's say they sleep their way up. But they make it look like it's hard work. And they get some type of prestigious position. They start making little, uh, 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 what is it, behind the scenes agreement with people like, hey, watch everybody out in the field and report back to me if you see anything suspicious. And they do this with a lot of people, maybe even a whole company. And they don't even know that they're being watched. They're there like watching each other for this woman. So snitching on each other. And she's just sitting back having herself a ball. Probably calling them idiots and things like that. They said this is minion one, minion two, puppet one, puppet two, puppet three, puppet four. Oh, puppet one is about to call me. And at four o'clock, puppet three will be calling me to let me know what puppet two did today. Playing them like yo-yos. Because she's disingenuine. Disingenuine. It's a lot of effort. You need a lot of effort to be able to keep that kind of operation going on. But someone like this is committed because they have a lot of skeletons to hide. 
And when you don't want to face those skeletons, you got to commit yourself to the deceit, to the trickery. You have to commit yourself to it full time. It's like, I don't need to tell this person what's going on. They're going to do what I say anyways. I'm the CEO. I'm the vice president. I'm the manager. They're going to do whatever, whatever I tell them to do. So I don't need to explain myself to them. Someone has been abusing their power for a long time, their position. They've been misusing a position for a long time. And the people under her are miserable as heck. Like some people in this company have PTSD when this woman comes around. When this woman comes around, she brings PTSD and, and anxiety with her. These people don't even know how to act. Especially the younger ones in the companies, they don't know how to act when these types of energies come together or come around. Oh, man. And as soon as you say, oh, Chantel is coming in today. Oh, my gosh. What is you coming here for? What does she want? What's going on? What did you all do? Is there something I'm not aware of? Nobody wants Chantel around. Because she comes with a whole lot of problems. She's coming in today to prove that she's the boss and she's in charge. And nobody cares, but they have to pretend like they care. This is this woman. A menace to a whole institution. Your ring is over. It's over. Heard it. Should we tell Chantel about this? No, do not say anything about Chantel. Let's all make an agreement in this group. We will not be telling Chantel what is going on. Okay? Meanwhile, Chantel is behind the scenes having anxiety, not knowing what's going on. Why is no one telling me what's going on? No one is talking to me anymore. And it's that, uh, yeah, that's on purpose. I'm telling you, that's on purpose. They see you. They know what you've been up to, Chantel. They know what you've been up to. There could be a high priestess in here. So there's a, you could be the high priestess collective. This family is going through some type of internal conflict and chaos because there's balance being brought into this situation. They've been trying to interfere with the light that you are manifesting. They're wondering if you know the truth about a matter you do with this hanging man out here. Everything has been illuminated to you. You see your crown glowing? You see your crown out here glowing? This is the second card in the deck with the crown the spiritual crown the other one is the one on the temperance angel okay you know you know what happened you know what's going on they've been trying to cause you some type of imbalance destabilize you and things like that and it's all at the orders of this woman she acts from behind the scenes. And she's helped a lot of these people destroy their own lives. Things that they should have stayed away from. Actions and behaviors. Bullying and things like that. And she's, she's like peeking through the window. Hello, what's going on in there? No one is talking to me. Trying to crack the doors and... Crack and, and peek in between the cracks and stuff. Is that, uh, Chantel? Is that you? What in the world is going on? Okay. Why are you peeking through the doors, honey? I'm telling you, honey. You know. Someone knows as well. There's someone in here that sees you for who you are. They know you're very brave. You're very brave and strong. Is that people trying to end someone? And it's like no matter what they tried to do to you collective, you just kept moving forward. You stayed diplomatic about it. You didn't go around yelling and cursing people out. You were very classy about the whole situation. Honey, we applaud you. And there's a masculine that knows that. There's a masculine that knows that. Someone may just now be coming into the awareness of what you are going through. And they're sitting back, maybe even in regret. Is it dang? Why didn't I know sooner? 
Why didn't I ask questions? That woman is living in fear because she doesn't know what's about to happen. She knows the truth is going to be exposed. She knows she's being replaced by someone else or she's being let go. Okay. Someone may know that you're in some type of situation that's not quite healthy at all. Maybe they're sending someone in to communicate with you. Because Madame keeps having all the messages blocked and deleted. Okay. Madame keeps having, having all the messages blocked and deleted. And she's been trying to manifest an ending for you. But they said, no, you're not ending this person. They will be recovering. Someone has either been paying some type of high priestess to manifest an ending for you. It's not happening. Someone has been doing a whole lot to shake you up. It's not happening. It's not happening. I'm telling you, you're not going through an ending. And even if you did, it would be for you to start a new chapter, a better one. Okay? So you're staying grounded, staying humble. People like these, there's a special place for them in the afterlife. There is a special place for these kind of people in the afterlife. These are one of those people that when they pass away, the spirit realm tells them, hey, yeah, you're going to have to go to the educational, the re-educational temple so they can help you. Because you need some serious help. Or they'll tell them, yeah, you might want to go take a nap. You need to go sleep for a little while. Because you need to rest before we can try this rodeo again. <laughs> this is one of those people when they passed away, their spirit guides, they can tell their spirit guides are disappointed in them. Because the look they'll give them will just be like, yeah, I know, I could have done better. I know. And you know our spirit guides are patient with us. I mean, some of them are direct as can be. They'll tell you exactly what the heck they have to say. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Very straightforward with you. I'm very disappointed in what you've done. You could have done better. This was your opportunity in that last lifetime to get things right. But here you are. I'm telling you, someone is upset that they cannot bring you a tower. They are trying to manifest some type of ending for you. This has been repeated, repeated, repetitive in my messages. Someone trying to manifest an ending for another person, but they can't. They cannot. They are not manifesting an ending for you. They've been paying people, bribing people. Hey, go take this person out. Go and take her out. Go and take him out. Block them. Remove them. And the source is looking at them like, who the heck do you think you are? Are you dumb? You've got to be dumb. It's like no matter what this person do, trying to uh, is trying to do to you, there will always be intervention. And they know that. Yeah, they know that. She's going to be disappointed. She's going to be disappointed. People are finding out that you didn't know about an opportunity. Something was left for you. Something was supposed to be presented to you and they didn't know that you didn't receive the message. Yeah. And they are heartbroken. They are heartbroken. That you're still showing up in a genuine energy. After everything these people have been trying to do, you're still showing up in a genuine energy. Someone is remembering you. They're like, this person was genuine to me. Why did I do this? They betray a genuine friendship. It's what they're 
realizing some people are like a piece of work I'm telling you some people are a piece of work hmm they're trying to confuse a masculine about a connection he had with you like this person is still blind or they're just keeping cool like at this point is it really something that's hidden these messages have been consistent and you want to tell me someone is still blind or someone is causing illusions that's really what it is he's causing illusions he's in some type of union collaboration with this woman he does her dirty work he does her dirty work he causes conflict that makes sense he does her dirty work this is not the one she sleeps with that's someone else they work together they work together but he knows the truth. He knows you're genuine. He knows you're a star seed. You're in the upright. But he's under her orders. She may be trying to get information from him. Say, hey, what did they say in the meeting? And he maybe he may be at that point where he's like, uh, I can't talk to you about that. That's classified. I'm not trying to lose my job. He's like, well, I'm your boss. Oh, I don't know about that, but okay. <laughs> He's not going to say that out loud. He's just going to say, yeah, I can't talk to you about that. They're, they're still trying to conflict someone. For someone out there, there's a masculine where they're still trying to confuse him about you. They don't want him seeing you as genuine. They're still trying to confuse this man. And I don't know how his mind works. Yeah, they're still trying to confuse him. Still causing conflict. It's like, are you sure you want to be married to a star seed? Like, you have to be honest with them. You can't hide anything. Like, they'll know when you're lying to them. With me, you can tell all the lies you want. You really, really want to go to a star seed? And he's, he said, uh, uh, I said, What? Yeah. He said, you're in this institution. You can do whatever you want. We just pretend to care. I don't think the institution these people work for is bad. What I think is that there are bad people in this institution, malicious people in this institution. They've, they've created their own institution within an institution. That's what this is. They've created their own institution within an institution, and they have made it unbearable for other people in this institution, especially if you're a newcomer. Oh, honey. Bless your heart. Bless your soul. Someone you're about to be making an arrival at an institution. You may have people there clapping for you celebrating you be mindful these people there there are people in there these are some of the same people that were up against you trying to destroy you so when you arrive yeah everyone will be clapping but be mindful i'm telling you be mindful these are some of the same people that were trying to end you lying on you smearing your character but you know that's how uh, 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 the universe work. The universe will prepare a table for you right in the midst of your enemies, right in front of them. And the universe is like, hey, uh, I need audience. You all play your role in one part of the story. Now this is your role to play. Now I need you all to sit down and watch this star see elevate. And they don't have a choice 
because it's all divinely orchestrated. So they're going to be there when it's happening. I said, oh, dang, I wonder if he knows I was trying to get him to lose his job. Dang, I wonder if he knows I was driving by his house. Dang, I wonder if he knows I was logging into his phone. Dang, I wonder if he knows I was deleting his email. Say, so, yeah, yep, 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 and yep. And you're sitting back like, dang, I wonder if he knows that I know. Dang, I wonder if she knows that I know. Dang, I wonder if they know that I know. <laughs> Everybody is in their head. <laughs> having a hard time seeing the truth that's because there are a lot of people in their ears a whole lot they may even be sending someone to you to cause you confusion they say well she had a soft spot for you he had a soft spot for you they'll probably talk to you and you're like oh yeah about that Yeah, they're going to come in trying to cause confusion about a message, a letter, or something like that. The truth. That's crazy I said that and this pops out. They're going to come out trying to cause some type of illusion for someone out there. They know you're genuine. They know they betrayed you. They tried to end you. But they're going to come out and try to cause some type of confusion about something that's going on. You're not dumb. They're confused. That person is confused. That person doesn't know what's going on. But you do. You're not confused. Mm -hmm. You're not confused. You know the truth. Someone is disappointed. They cannot steal from you. Cannot block you. They may be trying to end your work. But the most highs they know. You're not doing that. They can't have what belongs to you. People are just disappointed. They, they can't end you. That you're not in distress. It's just like people going out of their way to cause you heartache, fear, and you're just like sitting back chill, relaxed, probably to have your feet, feet uh, kicked up somewhere during him and most of and say, oh, yeah, I know the universe is going to take care of it. I didn't do anything to you people. He, the universe already told me what's mine. So, yeah, I don't need to overreact. Do whatever you want to do. Do whatever you want to do. I already know I'm secure. Someone is throwing a fit behind the scenes. Like, someone is throwing their hands up, maybe yelling, all kinds of stuff. Just throwing uh, a temper tantrum. It's like a man child, woman child. Yeah, they were trying to steal this. They can't. I'm telling you, steal from a point of cost? You has to be kidding me. Yeah, they were trying to steal from a point of cups. There's one in here that's playing games as well, causing a lot of illusions. Like, what do I do? What do I say to them? Can I go in and be their friend? This person is not your friend. They're trapped in their mind. They could be having legal issues coming in. Whereas you're focused on creating opportunities for yourself and moving forward. These people are trying to bring you legal issues. I'm telling you, they've been trying to have you living in anxiety, but you don't. You're not living in fear. You're like, okay, I'm good. Thank you for the experience. Thank you for the lessons. Oh, dang, there's a queen of swords here in the reverse. Mm. Someone has been causing a lot of illusions and lying. And she's exposed. Someone may have stole something. She stole some type of opportunity by causing illusions. She's exposed. She abused her power. She's unstable. This is one of those people. They will go out of their way to make things look like what they're not. That, hey, say this when they ask you. Say this when they ask you. I need you all to work with me so she doesn't get this position, okay? If you help me get this position that that person left for her, I'll give you that position. You won't have to wash dishes anymore, okay? 
you'll be in charge of the dishwashing department now. That's one of those. Someone caused a lot of illusions to get a position. To get a position. There's a woman in here that's living in sorrows, disappointment. This is not someone wicked. She's trying to figure out why did I partner up with these people. She could be like a high priestess or a queen of swords in the upright. I don't know why I'm getting that message. But there's a, there's a woman in here that is disappointed in herself for partnering up with this, cra this crazy group. And she keeps asking herself every day, why did I partner up with these people? Why didn't I just say no? Someone may be trying to find you, talk to you, something like that, to let you know they're not against you. Someone is trying to find you, communicate with you, and let you know that they are not against you. They may have made a mistake in the past, did something, but she wants you to know that she's not against you. I'm sure you'll have contact with this woman at some point and give her a listening ear. Someone's lies are being exposed. I'm telling you, judgment has been called. It's all being exposed. Someone is being reviewed as a liar. All the things that they did to cause you endings. Someone was supposed to like mentor you in something. And she decided that she was going to take advantage of the situation. You didn't know that you possibly had some type of position available to you. And this woman knew it. And she got all the little minions that she had been working with or friends with, had been friends with for years to work with her to make something go in her favor. Someone has been telling a whole lot of lies and she's exposed. Your ancestors were sitting back and watching this woman and said, I promise you, I promise you, when we are ready for you, you best have this same energy and it's time. Someone, they let, I'm telling you, it's time. They let someone get comfortable in a position and she thought she was in the clear. Your ancestors or the universe did let someone get comfortable in a position. She got comfortable. Comfortable. She got comfortable. She thought she was in the clear. She said, I've successfully stolen from this Darcy. She's an idiot. I know more, more than what she knows. And I'm better at the job than she is. You know, so I should have the position. I should have this position. And that's not how that works. Just because you think you should have it, does not mean you should. I'm telling you, she's going through her ending. She's going through her ending. Mm, yeah, judgment has been called on this woman. She's in her mind. She may have legal issues coming in. They've made a decision. It's the end of the road for her. It's the end of the road for her. And she knows it. She knows it. She knows it's the end of the road for her. There we go. This woman told some type of lie, trying to get someone caught up in the legal system. It's not happening. Trying to bring unnecessary problems. It's not happening. She said she wants problems always. Your ancestors said, well, we too. We too, mother sucker. We too. We want problems always too. And she's finding out, well, she, she didn't exactly want problems always. She didn't know what she was saying. She don't know what the heck she was thinking by saying that. Okay? <clears throat> You want the pro you want their problems always? They're giving you problems always. Someone is about to fall from grace and lose everything. I'm telling you, stuck. She's stuck. She wanted you stuck. And this is a lie. They had to keep uh, they had to keep going. You tell a lie. You tell one little white lie. Turns into a big black lie. Got to keep it going on and on and on. And you get to a point where you've told so many lies, you can't remember all the lies you told. And then you start telling new lies to cover the old lies, but the new lies are not adding up. And people are like, well, I thought you told me this. I thought you told me purple last time. Now you're saying blue. 
Oh, 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 oh. Well, maybe I thought you looked like purple, huh? Madame, madame. What? You told us it was yellow before. Now you say it's green. Well, I'm colorblind. Girl, don't do it. Someone is trapped. She's stuck. She's, she's stuck. The illusionist has come to the end of her road. Oh, she was going to keep you trapped and you are th flourishing. You're thriving. Moving forward. You're not going through a tower. This is what they were wanting to manifest for you. A tower trying to steal something for, from you. They can't. It don't matter how many lies someone tells. How many times they try to steal from you. How many plans they come up with. How many illusions and things. It's just not going to work. There will always be divine intervention. They want you to feel trapped and blocked, financially poor, living in like you're not. This is you right here. Right here. And the whole time, I'm telling you, this is you right here. Something is going to be ending for you for something new to begin. But you're not going through like a tower. It's more so of a, hey, yeah, this is not you anymore. We need you to start doing this. That's your ancestors telling you. That's your ancestors telling you that this chapter is over. It's time for you to elevate. It is time for you to elevate. I'm telling you. It's time for you to elevate and you're going to need to take action. Stand your ground. Speak up. Speak up when this is going on. You'll be receiving some type of message. Yeah. You'll be receiving some type of message. Make sure you speak up. Someone here is... <laughs> Ooh, baby. <laughs> For those of you that come back to my channel to watch, you know this is my low IQ <laughs> card. <laughs> Someone is being reviewed as someone that's not exactly all the way there upstairs. Some screws are missing. Some screws are missing. Someone may want to pick a fight with you. You're like, I'm too classy for that. I have better things to do. Yeah, someone is a liar. This queen of source here and then the ace of source. This person is a bullfish liar. Yeah, I'm telling you. They're exposing this woman. They are exposing this woman. Dang. Let's call judgment on this woman. It's an out of touch with reality, unrealistic, being lazy, unreliable, discouragement, moody, emotional, creativity disorder. I'm telling you, they're exposing this woman. They are exposing this woman. It says she's a freaking liar. She's not reliable. You need to end this connection with her. This collaboration. This could be this queen of wands. There's someone that partners up with people just to get what she wants. Yeah, just to get what she wants. I'm telling you. She does not mind causing people endings to get what she wants. She's not receiving it. She's not receiving it. Someone told a lie so they could receive something. Receive an offer or so someone could give them an offer. No. No. It, she's not receiving it. They said even though you're, you're uh, going through something, some of you are going through a lot of tumultuous times, trials and tribulations. For some reason, you're still feeling content in life. And people don't understand how it is you're content in life. They don't understand. They're trying to figure that out. They're like, they're like, this person should be depressed. This person should be struggling with anxiety, living in fear, uncertainty. And you're sitting there smiling and stuff. And they're like, why the heck are they smiling? Why are they smiling? Yeah, this woman, <laughs> these people are being exposed. They're being exposed. 
Someone here does not want to answer questions. When you ask her questions, she is rah, 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 rah. She's in the reverse. She's in the reverse. Wants to pick a fight, causing illusions, lying a lot. Shit. Yeah. Lying a lot. Let me put this here. Mm. Why is it seven of wands in the reverse? Why is this seven of wands in the reverse? Some of them want to try to give you some type of either promotion but it's not something that you will want. It's not good for you. They wanna give you something to make it seem like you're gonna have a new beginning, but be careful. Someone is very calculative. Someone is calculative. Okay? Someone did some, took some type of action to imbalance something. But some of you, there's someone who Maybe you filed taxes and someone went in and interfered with your taxes so you don't receive your money. Like there's some type of blockage. Be mindful with that. Make sure you check on those. If the if if a specific amount of time goes by, go and ask questions. Call the IRS, call the tax service that you used, and ask questions. But someone tried to block your money. Someone took actions to block your money so you don't receive it. Someone is gonna be facing legal issues for that. They're, they think that they don't they think nobody knows. Someone has been like monitoring you. If you work like at work, they're monitoring you. When you log into your computer computer, let's say you use the work computer to do something, they'll monitor they're monitoring all of that and your passwords and everything. They're keeping it so they can log into your accounts and things like that. So someone may have done something to block someone's money. They want you, oh yeah, so you can have to ask them for help. But you're not going to ask this person for help. This is why they're trying to put you in that predicament. Because they want you to see them as Captain see if a whole day kind of person. Like, oh, you know, I can go ask my boss for money. I can go ask this person, this um, male for money. He's like, no, don't do it. Someone is going to get caught. Someone has trapped themselves. Okay? They've trapped themselves. They may be lusting after you. All kind of, like, too much. Too much. Someone is doing too much behind the scenes. Too much behind the scenes. And all of this happened because of that woman. That queen of pentacles in the reverse. In the reverse. That seven of seven of wands is throwing me off as heck. Say, like, why is this here in the reverse? Maybe someone does not want you to have any defense, any type of protection. They don't want someone helping you. That's what it is. They don't want someone helping you. They don't want someone giving you a genuine offer. They don't want you elevating. They want you to keep waiting in life, stagnate you. But this is you. You're moving forward. That's what that is. They're trying to take your protection, any type of help, any type of defense you can get. Yeah, they're trying to take it away. They're trying to take it away. But someone out there that's a masculine that took some type of action to interfere with your finances. And it's going to land him in hot water. Like this man thinks he's very discreet. Someone thinks they are the masters of illusion. And he doesn't know that he just, I'm telling you, he just brought burdens on himself. He thought no one knew. I'm exposing someone right now. He thought no one knew. But it's going to be found out what he did. This man is burdened behind the scenes. I said taxes. 
and the ace of pentacles came out this is money that was supposed to put you in a better energy relieve you of burdens and this man did something to interfere with it this is someone greedy this is someone greedy someone overindulges and someone that just someone is damaged goods damaged goods is what i just heard greedy and damaged goods impulsive he may have some type of passion for you like this is someone that bribes people behind the scenes he does not want you receiving your ace of pentacles like someone is damaged goods is what they keep repeating to me and he's burdened behind the scenes he's burdened am i going to get found out am i going to lose everything am i going to go to jail you bet you are you broke the law you broke the law I'm telling you, this man is burning behind the scenes. He blocked someone's finances. He don't want you receiving something because he wants to come in and act like he's saving you. Like, oh, here's $2,000. I heard you were going through a hard time. Well, mother sucker, I'm the one. I'm going through a hard time because you're the one that interfered with my livelihood. That's what's going on here, too. Someone wants to be your saving grace, but they are the one causing you problems. All these people are causing problems behind the scenes. All these people are causing problems behind the scenes, and they've all cursed themselves. Everything they stole from you, blocked from you, they're going to lose it 10 times over. I'm telling you, this is a king of pentacles that did this. King of pentacles, king of swords. Yeah, and he's living in anxiety. Someone interfere with your finances. And you're still having victory. Someone is burning at a king of pentacles. May want to come towards you. There's a few characters in here. There's a wild king of pentacles being exposed as someone of low vibrational energy. There could be one as well that's coming towards you. Maybe wants to work with you. Go having some type of victory. He wants to have a new start with you. Because he knows the truth now about the matter at hand. Mm. Someone is burdened about you receiving this ace of pentacles. Yep. About you receiving this ace of pentacles. Dang. Whoever this uh, King of Pentacles is that's been exposed as someone that is immoral. He, Lord Jesus. He's a handful. He's a handful. Something's going to be exposed about this King of Pentacles. That he bribed either someone behind the scenes to do something. He took some type of drastic action, impulsive action. To interfere with someone's livelihood, someone's stability. And this man is walking around acting like he's all this and that. Someone is ashamed. He should be ashamed to call himself a man. Someone should be ashamed to call himself a man. Someone should be ashamed to call himself a man. You should be ashamed, sir. Pathetic as heck. Pathetic. Uh, these people are going through endings. They are going through endings. Okay. Endings. There's communications coming in about some type of injustice that took place. There's communications coming in about an injustice that took place. Someone is going to be sending you communications or they may be getting, uh, maybe, you know, run, I don't know how they're going to give you this information. I, I don't want to lie. Maybe in person, maybe on the phone, maybe something. I don't know what it is. Yeah, they're not doing too well. About they're gonna you're gonna receive information about what people have been doing. 
and this is divine intervention. And what they've been doing or trying to do to you has become too much of a burden. Never mind that they were told to stop and they kept going. Yeah, it's done for this King of Pentacles. I knew this was coming out. This man is done. Whatever plans he has to end someone, it's not happening. He's going through an ending. This man is, is greedy. That's the word that was about to come out. He's been exposed. He's not someone of high honor. He pretends to be someone of high honor. I don't know if he thought he was going to have victory in something. He was the one that made a decision to end something for someone, either a king of cups, whoever this is. This king of pentacles here, he made a decision. He came up with a plan to do something with a king, uh, with a king of cups or against to a king of cups to cause an ending, to end things with a king of cups. Something like that. I don't know if this is a same-sex relationship, whatever this is. Boy, this message took a turn. We started out with the wild queen of pentacles in the reverse. And here we are. I have a king of pentacles being wild too. This man is very strategic. He's been working with people behind the scenes to cause some type of ending, block something from starting. But it's still going to work because whatever they've been doing has become too much. It's too much of a burden. This is over. The fourth source for me is the coffin car, coffin car for me. Coffin. It's over. It's dead. He's going through an ending. He's about to lose a lot. Source, what is your advice to us today? What would you like us to be aware of? of this message recording of this message let me see something oh divine intervention your ten of pentacles is ensure someone is still trying to steal it while going through our ending this community celebrated too early someone should have sought legal advice before they took some type of action or someone knows, a, a group knows that you're still going to be receiving this opportunity and they're fighting amongst themselves, living in fear and anxiety because justice is going into favor of an empress. Oh, yeah. You're going to be working with a, a like a, a wealthy person or someone that's business savvy, someone that does what's right. Yeah. Oh, and it's going to lead to love as well or just some type of equal give and take partnership whether it's in business or love you two will seal onto karma waters look at you privileged lady high honor solid commitment i'm telling you damn look at these cars look at these cars man awesome i guess the ancestors were deciding to kind of tell you what's going on with the karmics behind the scenes in karmic veil they're fighting and falling and they can't get up and then they're like, hey, this is what's, a, what's, what's up ahead for you. We're hiding it. And then here I go with my nosy self looking in there. They said, girl, we were trying to hide that. You know, these karmics are always watching. But I'm like, okay, but you all have the power, though. You all have the power to stop them. So, like, I want to see, too. Okay. So, 99, 99, healing. Uh, completion, something is done, but we have, you know, the narcissist that still want to keep it going, but something is done. It said it is time to get to work on the realization of your soul's mission in life. You have a higher purpose in this life that is yours and only yours to fulfill. Unleash your true power. I am courageous. Didn't I say something about that queen of pentacles trying to pretend to be someone else? And they're telling you, you're the only one that can fulfill your purpose. We have 999 another nine when you sum it down right yeah mm -mm. lord have mercy 
Anyways, it says, thank the past for your lessons and leave it where it belongs so you can make the best of the life that is still waiting to be fulfilled by only you. So whatever these people are trying to do, honey, leave it behind you and keep moving forward. Act like you don't know. You have people wondering why they can't get a reaction out of you after making some pathetic moves and things like that. And they're just wondering, well, why is she not losing her mind? Why is he not losing his mind? He should be angry right now. He's too calm. She's too calm. And they said, idiot. There's something you don't know. We have 777. That is 21. Three, celebration, sharing, friendship, beauty. They say your purpose flows from within you and everything that is unfolding or being revealed to you is part of your purpose. A state of peace and calmness in your soul. I am in the flow. That is the best way to end this read. Thank you all for your support and for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. I will see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.